Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video on this rose gold, I don't know if you guys can see it, the rose gold temporary tint. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush my hair and then we are going to wash it and then we're going to spray it. So first I need to just brush this out. My hair is super knotty because I spent with it in a ponytail last night. This is just supposed to be a temporary color, so it should wash out within three to four washes. I wash my hair about twice a week, so it'll probably last about two weeks, but it's a pretty big bottle. So I'm thinking about just doing the ends. I don't know. I might just do the whole thing. We'll see. But this is the first step of just brushing your hair out, and then we'll go to the next step. So you guys, I have all my hair brushed out finally. I'm telling you guys, my hair is super long, so it takes a while for it to brush out completely. So I'm going to go ahead and do a time lapse of me washing my hair. I'm not going to get completely in the shower, but I'm going to show you guys. And then after I get done with the time lapse, so it might look a little different than it does right now. Um, cause I'm going to do a time lapse. So after the time lapse, then I'll come back and talk to you guys and show you guys what I'm doing. My hair is super long. So we're just going to open the shower up and we're going to start the time lapse and um, see what we can do about this hair. I've never done a, a temporary dye, so this is my first time. <laughs> I'm nervous. Okay, you guys, so I just put the shampoo um, in my hair. I used a combination of the Love Beauty and Planet. It's the Rose. Um, it's sulfate-free, sulfate and it's the Blooming Color. So I just mixed that with the Kristen S. Purple Shampoo because my hair needed to be washed so i'm gonna let this set for i don't know a minute or two and then we're gonna go rinse it out and we'll come back done washing my hair now all I need to do is towel dry it a bit I would think that you would brush it out but I'm trying to read the instructions it doesn't say anything about brushing it it just says towel dry it if you want a more concentrated look and if you if you want more of a subtle look then you can go ahead and just do it in the shower when your hair is wet so I want it to be a little bit more concentrated, so I'm just going to go ahead and towel dry it. This also has zip up technology, which zips up your split ends, which is good because I haven't been able to get a haircut. <coughs> so I'm hoping that will zip my split ends up. Okay, you guys, I'm just kind of towel drying my hair a little bit. I'm trying to focus it more in the front of drying it because I want it to show up more, especially in the front. So that's kind of where my focus is. So I'm just towel drying and then we're gonna go ahead and go in and spray it. I guess I'm not going to brush it because it doesn't say anything about brushing it. So I guess we don't really need to brush it, but I'm, this is pretty much as good as the towel dry is going to get unless I were to let it air dry a little bit, but it doesn't say that. So here is my hair towel dried. <laughs> I look crazy, but it's all good. 
And surprisingly, my hair isn't as super dry as it normally is. I'm just going to split my hair like I always do. I'm just gonna kind of, you know what? I am going to go ahead and brush it just because I want to. I feel like it will, my hair is super long. Sorry, I have to get that dirty hair out of my hairbrush. Um, my hair is super long, so I just feel like it always gets knotted up after I wash it. So I'm just using a wet brush to kind of brush it. And surprisingly, like I was saying before, it's not super dry. Like normally when I shampoo my hair, my hair is super dry. But surprisingly, it's not that bad. I'm gonna go ahead and brush it and then I'll come back and we will spray. I'm excited to do this, see how it looks. I hope it shows up, which I don't know if it's going to, but we'll see. We are gonna see ahead and brushed my hair out as good as it's gonna get so I have the spray but before I spray it I am just going to give it one more little towel dry since it's brushed out hopefully this will work I'm excited to see I'm kind of nervous because I've never done this before but I'm curious on how it's going to work. Let's go ahead and get started on spraying it. Yay! Okay, you guys, I don't really know where to start, but I guess we'll start at the top so that it has more time to soak in. It smells just like the purple shampoo. Can you guys see it going on? <laughs> you can. This is crazy. I'm so curious to see how this is gonna work. It's gonna be so cool. It's definitely getting pink everywhere. So be careful. I don't know if I got all of it. Okay, you guys. So I'm just trying to kind of mix it in. Like, do you guys see how it is kind of turning a little pink? I'm just kind of rubbing it down into it. Because it, whenever it gets on your hands, you guys, it turns pink. Oh, getting it everywhere. Yikes. I'm gonna have pink hair. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Let's go on this side now. I'm getting pink all over me. Definitely gonna have to get in the shower after this, for sure. I'm curious to see if this actually works though. It's getting all over my shower curtain. All right, you guys, I'm just trying to make sure that I get all of it. And I definitely want it to get on my ends because it's supposedly supposed to help your ends. I'm getting it all over me. But that's all good. I don't know how much I'm supposed to use of this, but I can already kind of see it turning a little pink. So maybe it's going to work a little bit. We shall see. I'll be back okay you guys I have it pinned up literally I'm glad I wore this shirt there's pink everywhere it's all over my bathroom it's staining my toilet seat <laughs> so be careful I would recommend doing this in the shower I started to put my head down into the shower I don't know if you guys can see 
me see if I can put you down. But there's pink all in my bathtub, so I'm gonna have to clean that when I get in the shower. But I just wanna show you guys what I'm gonna use when I do take a shower. So it says, after a few minutes of letting this sit, I'm pretty sure I got it all over my hair. Um, I'm gonna spray this section right here. Just to make sure I got it all over my hair. It's all over my face, but that's okay. After you let this set for, it says one to two minutes. I'm gonna let mine set for about five minutes or so. I just have it clipped on top of my head. You can tell it's kind of turning pink. But after that, it says to rinse it out. You don't have to <laughs> shampoo. It just says to rinse because you already shampooed. After that, it says to put your favorite conditioner or mask. I always use a conditioning mask when I wash my hair. I don't like using regular conditioner just because my hair is so long and it gets so knotty that I'd rather just use a mask. And I only wash my hair twice a week. So it works out really good for me. This conditioning mask, oh my gosh, it is amazing. I've tried so many masks. I have pink all down my neck, just ignore that. I've tried so many, and this by far is my favorite mask I've ever tried. I'm gonna show you guys what it is. This is the hair mask that I use. It's Heritage by Mindy McKnight. You can find this at Walmart, and this is the transforming hair mask. This mask, oh my gosh, it smells so amazing. It literally smells like marshmallow fireside. If you guys have ever smelled that from Bath and Body Works, you know exactly what I'm saying. This stuff is amazing. It's super thick and creamy. It's just an amazing hair mask. So if you guys are looking for a hair mask, this one is amazing. A lot of hair masks are like $20 to $30. You can find this at Walmart for like $7, $8. It's so cheap and it is so good. I've never seen anybody talk about this. I just seen it at Walmart like a week ago and I started using it and I've seen tremendous results. My hair is super soft and shiny. It's just the most incredible thing I've ever tried. So you got to get this from Walmart if you like hair mask and it helps with long hair too. Also, you guys, with that hair mask, it doesn't leave your hair super greasy. I love that product so much that I went ahead and got another product from them. And this is their leave-in conditioning spray, and it is a liquid spray. Normally, I like a cream, but Target was out of the norm the one that I normally get so I just went ahead and ran into Walmart and grabbed this this smells incredible oh my gosh like it smells amazing and it does make your hair shiny I went ahead and tried it on my hair and I love it already I already know this is gonna be a favorite of mine I'll show you guys what my normal products that I normally use is but I'm gonna go ahead and test this out and I'll let you guys know if I like it um, but I will show you guys my tried and true staple products that I use just in case you aren't able to find this at Walmart, you may be able to find the other stuff at Target. It's a hit or miss with both of the products, but so far I'm loving this just from one use. So with this product, I've only used it once and I used it with dry hair. So I'm gonna test it out and see how I like it with wet hair and I'll let you guys know. But my staples that I normally use are these two products. So you can find this at Target. You can find this at Target and Walmart. This is pretty much you can find this anywhere. It's a really good oil to use, argan oil. And it's by OGX or Ox. I don't know how they say it. But this is a really good product. I've been using it for years. And I love to use it, especially if I'm going to use um, a blow dryer. This is really good for heat protecting. And it also, it also conditions your ends. Now, this product, oh my gosh. I can't say enough great things about this product. I've been using this for years. I absolutely love this product. It is incredible. It smells like marshmallows because it has marshmallow root in it. So if you love marshmallows, you'll love it. I love marshmallows um, and I love using marshmallow scent in my hair. But I would definitely recommend this product if you can find it on Target. Um, dot com or maybe even in the Target stores. I know my Target by my house doesn't sell it, but another Target a little further away from me always has it. I definitely recommend this. I literally have like three empty bottles because I don't throw it away even when I get to the bottom of it because I can get it out. So I just keep it in case, you know, the next time I get it, I can't find it. 
so this is really good to use right after you get out of the shower just put it all over your hair it makes your hair smell amazing it makes it super soft and shiny and i always use these two products together i'll use this one first put it all over my hair and then I'll, I'll mix these two because I just can't get enough of this product so I'll literally use it again with mixing with the oil on my hands and then put it all over my hair and these products are really good if you can't find the heritage ones these are my tried and trues but I couldn't find this when I went to Target. Guys I'm getting soaked with this product so I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the shower and I'm going to rinse this out put my hair conditioning mask on and then when I get out, I'll do my leave-in treatment and then maybe I'll blow dry it. I don't know if I'm going to blow dry it or not. I don't like to blow dry my hair anymore just because it's super damaging. I don't like to put as much heat on if I don't have to. But since I want to see the color of this, I may go ahead and blow dry it. We'll see. But either way, I'm going to jump in the shower, do my thing, and then I'll check back in when i get out i have pink all over myself i hope this pink comes out of my bathroom because it's literally everywhere <laughs> so it says that this is a shower treatment so if you can get away with doing it in the shower definitely do it i would have but i wanted to film a video for you guys hopefully this turns out we'll be back with an update on how this looks after i rinse it okay you guys so i just got out of the shower I don't know if you guys can see a rose gold tint to my hair. It was definitely pink when I was in the shower and then when I started rinsing it out, I don't know, I just kind of went away. So I don't know if I rinsed it too much. I mean, I think there is a tint and that's what it was. It was just a tint of rose gold is what the bottle says. It says, temporary tint so it wasn't a dye so it might just have a tint of rose gold to it i don't know i'm gonna go ahead and brush my hair out and we'll come back to put my product in and then i'll probably just do an update tomorrow on how it looks because i don't want to have to blow dry my hair tonight Okay, you guys, I've been looking in the mirror. It might not be easy to tell on camera in this lighting, but it does have a pink tint, especially on this side, because this side is where I have highlights. This side, there is a little bit of a tint, but not too much. I mean, it still looks good, but I'm curious to see how it's gonna look when I have it dropped. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Heritage Leave-In Conditioning Spray, and I'm just gonna spray the ends of my hair. This stuff smells so good. Definitely the ends of my bangs. Just kind of get that in there. Do this side. I'm just kind of spray it everywhere lightly. Now that I'm spraying that spray, it does smell like the um, marshmallow fireside, like the hair mask does. I'm going to pour some of this, because I'm almost out, the Shea Moisture, it's a repair cream, I think, a leave-in treatment. And then I'm going to spray some of this spray in my hands and then just go down onto the edges of my hair just because I love that leave-in conditioner and it does make my hair super soft so I can't get out of the shower and not use it I'm sorry I just can't I'll probably put quite a bit of this on because I love it I'm gonna spray so I'm just mixing that up and then I'm gonna put it on this side. So normally I would mix it in with that oil, but if you guys hear Joe, he's vacuuming. But I'm just going to go ahead and just put it all over my hair. And then I'm gonna take this cream by itself because I love it so much. And I'm just gonna mix it in and then I'm gonna flip my hair. And I'm gonna do the ends just to make sure I get all of them. I'm gonna scrunch it up. Just 
trying to get it everywhere. And then flip it back over. I'm telling you guys, my hair is just so long. So, now I'm just going to let it air dry like this. And um, I'll come back with an update probably tomorrow because... Normally my hair takes a little while to dry, but I can definitely start to see the color coming through. So what we'll do is tomorrow when I get up, I will straighten it for you guys so you guys can really see it. And um, yeah, that's what we'll do. Normally I go ahead and put my hair up in a bun just to get out of the way until I'm ready to go to bed and then I'll just take it down and it will air dry as I sleep. And then, yeah, we'll do a check in tomorrow. My lashes look crazy, you guys. It's because I was supposed to get them done today and my lady had a panic attack. So, I'm gonna have to go in a few days to get them done. Anyways, I love you guys. I'll check back in tomorrow. It looks pretty good so far. So I'm curious to see what it's gonna look like dry and straight. Sorry, I just kind of woke up, so I look crazy, I sound crazy, my hair looks crazy, but I wanted to get on here and show you guys. I'm going to straighten my hair, and then I'll come back and show you guys the final results, and I'll try to maybe get the lighting a little better so you guys can see it, because it does have a pinky tint to it. It's not completely pink but it just kind of has a rose gold tint, which is exactly what it said it would do. I love it, to be honest. It's cute. Okay, you guys, so this is my hair. As you guys can see, there is a rose gold tint to it. So I'm in the sunlight so you guys can really see it. But there is a little bit of a tint to it. Not all of it. It's mainly just right here in the front. There's a little bit of a tint on this side. But yeah, you know, I'm not totally upset with it because I didn't want a drastic difference of my hair. I just wanted it to be a little bit of a tint and that's exactly what I got. So I'm pretty excited. I actually really like this. I might do this often. Who knows? And I did a little rose gold moment in the inner corner. Excuse my lashes. Actually, in love with it. To be honest, it's better than I thought it would be. And yeah, it's pretty cute. I might actually do this more often. Sorry, it's kind of washing me out, but. I'm going to link all the products that I used down in the description below. So if you guys are wondering what all I use and where you can get all the products that I use, like the tint, my hair mask, my leave-in conditioner, I can even leave my straightener that I use down below. If you guys have any questions, you can hit me up on Likey or TikTok or Instagram or maybe you might be able to comment in this video down below, I'm not sure, but all my social medias will be linked down below if you have any questions. And make sure you hit the like button if you like my hair. But yeah, I'm actually pretty obsessed with it. So if you like my hair, make sure you give it a like. Also, if you guys want me to do any other type of videos like these, um, I know I'm a slime channel, but I'm also going to be doing other videos too, not just slime. S yeah. I'm trying not to say so, so many times, because I say that all the time. It's my filler word. I'm sorry. And yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys. I hope you liked this video. It was out of my box, but I wanted to do it for you. If you guys want to see any other types of videos, let me know. I would love to do anything you guys want me to. Just let me know on my Likey. I do slime giveaway videos all the time on my Likey. I have one up right now. So if you want to go check my Likey, I'll link it down below. And it's the pinned video. It will tell you exactly what to do, how to enter, 
It ends on July 12th at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Yeah, so go ahead and go and check that out. And who knows, you might win. And then I'll send you a slime or two or three or four. Who knows? Well, I hope you liked this video. And if you guys want to see any other types of videos, I could do makeup tutorials. I'm not that good at makeup, but I can try. I can do anything you guys want me to, I will do for you guys. Hopefully I can get my hair cut soon because I messed my bangs up and I need a trim. One thing I will say about this product is it did say that it has zip technology that helps your split ends, but as you guys can see, my split ends still look bad. And honestly, I feel like my hair is kind of, my hair is normally shinier than this and it's softer so i don't know what's going on if it's that leave-in product i use or if it's... either way my hair does feel a little bit more damaged than usual and yes i know i straightened it but even before i straightened it last night usually after i wash my hair it is silky soft and it's so beautiful shiny for some reason my hair is kind of I don't know, it's a little damaged. I don't know if it's from that tint or if it's from the leave-in conditioner that I use. I don't think it would be that, but I'm gonna go ahead and still test out that leave-in conditioner and I'll let you guys know if it is that or maybe if it's the tint. It's still shiny, just not as shiny as it normally is. Anyways, I love you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you wanna see any other types of videos. I will definitely do them for you. Make sure you guys subscribe and like this video. And if you can comment, leave me a comment. I don't know if you'll be able to, but if you can, leave me one. I love you guys.